Good morning. My, oh. <laughs> I nearly just fell off my stool. That's a great start to the vlog. <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a brand new vlog. You are joining me on what is kind of a week off. I say that and I'm here filming a vlog. I've not put my out of office on, but we have got Charlie's family staying with us this week. So I'm trying to do a little bit less work and more kind of switch off time. I've already spent an hour editing, <laughs> editing a vlog this morning. Switching off and time off doesn't really exist when you work for yourself. But as much of a week off as I personally am able to take is what's happening this week. So I thought I would take you along. We are hopefully going to be doing some really fun things around where we live. I get so many questions from you guys saying that you're visiting the Cotswolds and that you would like to know what pubs to go to, where to go for afternoon tea, what to do if you're staying at Soho Farmhouse, things like that. So hopefully I can share a lot of that with you in today's video. If you're thinking, Josie, you have overdone it on the brow products today. Well, I am currently day three after my microblading. If you would like to hear more about that, um, it's kind of like a semi-permanent tattoo almost. For your eyebrows, my eyebrows have always been an area where I have to put makeup on because they're very gappy. Uh, so I have had them microbladed again. I went to the same lady that I went to five years ago and they go darker before they end up as their like proper color because the skin rejects a lot of the dye, obviously. So yeah, they're looking ultra dark today, but hopefully over the course of this vlog, you'll see them getting a little bit more natural. I feel like I've also popped on a little bit more makeup than usual because having more makeup on actually softens the harshness of the brows. Today they don't look too bad. On Saturday we went over, <laughs> over to a friend's house and I looked like I looked like a meme. It was so funny. But um, yeah, they're softening a little bit. No pain on them anymore, which is great. But yeah, so today has started off with a 35 minute Hannah Frankson um, Peloton workout. I did a 30 minute interval. And because basically I'm not allowed to get my brows wet, I'm trying not to wash my hair too much because it's just too much of a risk, obviously, getting my face wet. Uh, so I tried using the handheld attachment in the shower just now just to give myself a quick body cleanse. But somehow I managed to knock the shower and turn the overhead on. Um, so I did manage to get the top of my head a little bit wet and my eyebrows, <laughs> which was really annoying. Um, but that's why I have just given my hair a quick zap through but this is actually day four hair it's gone a little bit puffy because of that incident but it's actually day four hair however that actually works really well for the epic innovation that i am going to show you this morning so i did a little teaser for this and this is in partnership with dyson charlie and i are so proud to be dyson ambassadors this year i've already spoken so much about, for example, our air purifier. We're obsessed with the vacuums more than any 29 year olds should be obsessed <laughs> with vacuum cleaners. But anyway, today we are talking about the Supersonic. Before working with Dyson, I was a customer of the Supersonic. I purchased my first one about, when did they launch? Is that six months, six months after they launched? Because I got to trial one when they very first launched. Um, and then I had to send it back after I'd created some content because they were like, and they still are, they're like gold dust. It can sometimes, I would say they're like the Hermes handbags of hair dryers. They can be quite hard to get your hands on them because they are in such high demand. So I had to return the one that I borrowed um, for a shoot when they first launched. But honestly, I could not go back to a regular hair dryer after trying this. Obviously Dyson are most well known for their vacuum cleaners and they have spent decades just absolutely perfecting airflow. That's what they're known for is mastering airflow and everything that they, that they know about airflow they put into the technology within this. This was the first product, not this exact one, this was the first product that they launched within the beauty sector and still to this day it is iconic. You will know if you watch my vlogs I use my Supersonic literally every time I wash my hair. I actually use it when I'm doing my main blast without any attachments and it is the quickest most amazing thing for drying my hair I highly recommend um, if you want to get just super speedy quick hair drying this is the product that I pop on before Redken one united all-in-one multi-benefit hair treatment this is yeah 
this is my dream team basically for getting quick drying hair that's really smooth. A question that I often get asked about the Supersonic is will it work for my hair type? My personal hair type all of my hairs are actually very, very fine, but I have a lot of them. So it does typically take quite a long time for my hair to dry, which is why this is great, because it's so powerful. But whether your hair is dark, thick, curly, the complete opposite of mine, Dyson have created so many different attachments. I've got a few here, there's a comb, there are loads of various, this one that I've got here is actually brand new, so some of them are still in the boxes. This one is great for, my mum actually so she has got fine hair like me but she's not got quite the thickness that sounds like such an oxymoron she's not got quite the, the quantity of hair but still very fine so you can get a diffuser attachment basically no matter your hair type dyson have got you covered so i know what you're thinking josie why are you telling us about a product that we already know about well this is where the exciting news comes in there is now a brand new attachment this one here, I will explain what it does shortly, for the Dyson Supersonic. So if you already own a Dyson Supersonic, then it will clip in. But if you purchase the Supersonic now, this will be one of the additional attachments that you can get. But yes, if you already have a Supersonic, you can buy this separately. This here, I'll show you what it looks like closely. <laughs> it kind of looks like it should go on my vacuum cleaner. This is a Dyson Supersonic flyaway attachment. So when you go to a hairdresser and they blow dry your hair, they somehow manage to get the most insane smoothness. You can see this is my hair just with a blow dryer, just with a supersonic, having gone through it quite quickly, quite naturally. But when you go to the salon, don't you just always leave with like the sleekest finish? There are no flyaway hairs, no little stragglers sticking out. And if you, in the past, wanted to get that look at home, you might have had to have used your straighteners or just a lot of heat in order to get that smoothness. I know that some people suffer from flyaway hairs more than others. If your hair is fine, like mine is, if you potentially have a little bit of breakage from color, again, like my hair, then you potentially have a few more flyaways than you would so desire to have. So that is where this tool comes in. Because my hair is fine, I'm gonna be using it on a low heat setting. So if you're not familiar with the Dyson Supersonic, you've got a heat setting and you have got a uh, kind of strength setting here. There are three options for each. I'm gonna use mine on low heat and on low um, ferocity, intensity. <laughs> So because of the way that I'm using it, you're not getting as much heat damage, you're not getting as much breakage likely to happen as if I was, compared to if I was to use a heated iron on my hair to get that smooth finish. I feel like just by looking at the shape of this, you can just tell how much engineering has gone into this product. I feel like Dyson are just 10 million years ahead of other hair brands because I mean who else has the innovation and honestly they are inventors people that work at Dyson are inventors they are always pioneering and if you've ever seen or used the air app which oh my goodness I don't know what I ever did without the air app um if you're not familiar I've got mine right here this video is not about the air wrap, but I feel like in order to visually demonstrate how incredible Dyson are at engineering products and using airflow, which of course dries the hair, you can use um, the new flyaway attachment on dry hair and it's actually works better on dry hair. But Dyson, I never heard this word before. Maybe they invented it, <laughs> maybe they didn't. There's this technique or this airflow thing called the coanda. And that's basically how Dyson have like harnessed the way that air moves around a product and manipulates the hair. So if you've not seen an air wrap in action before. I don't actually wanna curl this bit of hair, so I'm just using that as an example. You can kind of imagine if you could see the air, this attachment, Damn it, we have a perfect curl. <laughs> this attachment, the way that it's made, harnesses that coanda effect for like wrapping the hair around the barrel, which is not what I wanted right now, which is the best way of explaining and showing that effect. And the new attachment uses the same coanda, the same manipulation of airflow to basically bring the longer hairs 
up and the shorter hairs down so that you don't have these little spiky flyaway hairs for your finished hairstyle. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's try it out. As you can see, just quite voluminous hair and not sure how well I could do with like a dark background because my hair is so light, but I don't know if you can see in this close up. When you have very light blonde hair, it is just very challenging to show you. But take my word for it, there are a lot of flyaways going on here. So what we're gonna do, I always style my hair in two halves because there is just so much of it. You probably won't be able to hear me when I turn it on, but I'm gonna turn it down to level one on heat and airflow, and then essentially just glide it over my hair and let the magical Coanda airflow do its thing. I bet you were not expecting the results to be that dramatic. How insane is that? If you've ever used the Air app, I feel like this will make people that have just got the Supersonic want the Air app because I'm pretty sure it's, it's the first attachment that comes with the Supersonic, um, now it comes with the Supersonic, that really you can feel how insane it is that it actually pulls the hair in. It's hard to describe unless you've actually used a Dyson, let me bring you in. I can hand on heart say that my hair has never looked this sleek before without using straighteners. Can you believe this is the finish just from hair drying my hair? I feel like I feel like the results would probably be a little bit more dram dramatic if I was doing this on completely clean hair. But considering this is day four hair and you saw how inflated, <laughs> let's say, my hair was before using the new flyaway attachment, I was actually going to use straighteners on my hair today to get that sleek finish. But I don't need to. I don't need to add any more heat to my hair today. That is such a sleek and smooth and literally not one flyaway. Not one flyaway hair. So Dyson have done it again, another incredible hair product, amazing styling capabilities without having to use a crazy amount of heat on your hair because they have got our hair health at their front of mind. So thank you Dyson <laughs> for saving the day once again. I will show you this again um, tomorrow. I am going to be actually properly washing my hair tomorrow. So I'll show you a quick uh, update on freshly washed hair, but amazing, absolutely amazing, such a good, Additional attachment that now comes with the Supersonic, yet another reason to invest. Obviously, I highly recommend all Dyson products, but the Supersonic is something that I myself am a customer of. Um, so, so thrilled to now be working with Dyson and yeah, hand on heart, I recommend the Supersonic to all of my friends. But I am now going to choose an outfit of the day. I think it is, let's actually have a look. Oh, we've got some clouds, but we do have some blue sky. So I'm gonna pop on a pretty outfit and we are heading to the farmhouse for brunch. So I've decided to pop on my long Zimmerman dress. I've been re-wearing this a lot lately. I've had it for a couple of years and I just love it. I was a bit self-conscious last time I wore it because it was a bit um, revealing, but I've popped on a nice little lacy brassiere this time. So this is my outfit of the day, perfectly paired with sleek hair. Now I'm gonna go and make everyone a nice cup of coffee and then we're heading out for brunch. We're like kissing each other. Oh, baby, you're helping. Oh, they're helping each other. Big. 
Well, hello, my darlings. It is now the next day. It's Tuesday. Yesterday, we ended up spending the entire day at the farmhouse, which was great for us. We had a really nice time. We had an English breakfast, and then we went for a walk, um, and then we went for a really long walk actually. We ended up doing like the whole perimeter, saw the horses, and then we sat down at the Hay Barn, which is their kind of more Italian restaurant, um, and had just some bits and bobs to drink there. So it was a really nice day, but obviously not supposed to film there, so not much vlog content, I'm afraid. I have just unboxed this lovely new dress. This has come from the Out Dazzle Boutique. It's actually one of the beautiful sleeper dresses because we're heading to Chai's cousin's house today to meet her baby daughter for the first time. I thought this was quite a nice baby cuddling outfit. <laughs> also did another Peloton this morning, which was great. So I have been able to try the new Dyson Supersonic attachment on clean hair. And I have to say, as much as I have become so accustomed to wearing my hair with a bit of a curl in it lately, I really, really like how this looks. And normally I would feel that you can only kind of get this smoothness after using straighteners. I have not had to add any additional heat to my hair today. And as you can see, not one flyaway which is an absolute bonus so my hair hopefully if i keep this up we can rebuild the strength rebuild oh my gosh it feels so soft <laughs> if i do want to add more of a curl to my hair i will of course use something heated but on those days where i just want to add that sleekness to my hair we now have the fantastic attachment to do so so i think charlie is making some brunch downstairs everyone's been in the gym this morning actually charlie's mum did a yoga um martin charlie's dad did a peloton i think scarlet's in there right now so we are all very much ready for some nice brunch and it is now a few hours later when we have family over, I'm always pretty bad at vlogging, so this is kind of turning into a what I'm wearing in a week video, but I promise I'm gonna try and improve <laughs> the amount that I'm vlogging from now on. We had a lovely afternoon at Charlie's cousin's house meeting their lovely little baby, and now we are all just relaxing and watching a bit of tennis and getting ready to go out for dinner. Charlie and I are desperate to show everyone our amazing favorite new place to go for food, which is of course the Double Red Duke. So that is where we are heading at tonight. And I have popped on this gorgeous new dress. This is from a brand called Aspiga. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. And this dress is actually a collaboration with Belle and Bunty. The girls are so lovely. If you don't follow them on Instagram, they just have the most positive and uplifting and colorful feed. They do the most incredible reels. And yeah, they've collaborated with Aspiga for this beautiful dress design. I thought it'd be perfect for tonight. It's got this floral pattern and elasticated waistband, which means hopefully, if I do get a little bit bloated, it's not gonna be too painful. Really dramatic puff sleeves. And then the headband is actually a white linen material and it is from one of my followers companies called Clementine or Clementine and Mint. I do love a dramatic headband. Great for those days when you do have a sleeker hairstyle. And then I'm gonna take with me my Katie Loxton crossbody bag goes really nicely with my shoes. These are the padded um, River Island shoes. And yes, the bag has JF, my initials embroidered on there. It's just a really practical size. And I do love a crossbody bag when we're out and about. <laughs> eight o'clock in the morning and I'm the only one that is awake so far. We had a really nice evening at um, the Double Red Duke. <laughs> I still feel very full. I ate a lot of a lot of side dishes last night including they really are the best beef dripping chips. They're like triple cooked chips but they are oh, <laughs> 
just so good if you guys ever come to this part of the Cotswolds. I highly, highly recommend the Double Red Duke. Is something wrong with my settings? It's so dark. That's a little bit better. Um, yeah, so, so far, I'm the only one that has woken up. My brows still are looking so dark, but they always look a lot more intense when I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, I thought they might have lightened a bit by now, but they haven't. But they seem to be healing a lot better than they did last time. I've been really on it with the cleaning and the coconut oil. So hopefully, actually, ooh. Since I've put the coconut oil on this morning, this one actually looks like it's kind of bubbling up a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Just the skin doing weird things to heal itself. So it's a lovely day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a Peloton or something on the floor. I did feel really good after I did the Blogilates 10 minute class um, with a resistant band last time. But what I might do is a 20 minute spin and then if I've got any energy left, I'll do that afterwards. And hopefully by the time I go back to the house, Charlie and a few others might have woken up because I think we're gonna go for a nice walk today. It is looking like it's a lovely day. Um, and then maybe go to Dalesford. I think Charlie's sister's organized a kind of sports day for us as well. So no doubt we'll be having some fun out in the garden later. And my workout outfit for today is this duo from Sweaty Betty. I don't think they're, it's not a matching set or anything, but I just love their long line sports bras. I like the sports bras that don't have any padding because the padding always just falls out in the washing machines and it's very annoying to put it back. Um, and I don't really care about having boob padding in the gym. It's just me in here. Um, and then these leggings are one of my favorite styles from Sweaty Betty. They've got these little pockets down here, which is really useful if you're going out for a walk, because actually, as you can see, it's a really deep pocket. So they're great for putting your iPhone in, um, nice and high waisted. Although I would say this bit is ultra tight. I wore a pair like this last Saturday when we went for a dog walk, um, not a dog walk, a really long walk with our friends. And I ended up having to like hold it out after we'd eaten some tapas because I was so bloated. But they're great for doing workouts. I like the light color. So yeah, that's my outfit of the morning. And now it's time to spin. shower again I didn't wash my hair because I'm trying at all costs to be a good microblade patient and not get water in my brows um, because I'm not washing my face with water I'm finding that my skin is being a little bit funny this week so I've tried to do I'm trying to do makeup that's just very caring for my skin and so I thought I'd run through what I'm using um, so I've been using the Aurelia CBD super serum I'm a little bit obsessed with this brand since Robin and I went to Time. We had Aurelia facials and this serum has got, um, as well as CBD, I'm not actually sure what CBD does in your skin. I'm guessing it calms it, which is definitely what my skin needs, especially around the brows. You can probably see a little bit more today. They're a bit red um, and 
yeah, I think the next stage is going to be the like snake shedding its skin stage. So I'm not really looking forward to that. Uh, and it's also got hyaluronic acid in there because the area, the skin around my brows is peel peeling a little bit. Again, probably because I'm not able to do my normal skincare. Um, then I used my usual by Terry Hyaluronic Global Face Cream. This, oh, I can't remember if you can use the 20% off code with this. Oh, I feel like you can't. I think this and the Beach Bomb palette are the only two products that you can't use the 20% off on, which is very annoying. Um, but I would still highly recommend investing. And then I used the, from the same range, the Hyaluronic Foundation. Currently I'm using 300C, which is cool, but I also have somewhere 300N, and I actually think that 300N is probably more my shade when I've got a little bit of fake tan on my face, but again, because of the brows, I don't have any fake tan on my face, so we're down to 300 cool. Because this is part of the hyaluronic range, it is really lovely and hydrating, so again, great for my skin right now, where it's a little bit upset, up, upsettled, <laughs> upset and unsettled because of the microblading. And then full trio of hyaluronic, um, after doing my bronzer and my blush, I used the best powder in the world, the Hyaluronic Powder. If you want to try something from By Terry and you want to make the most of my discount code, Josie20, this is what I would definitely pick up because once you try this, you'll understand why I talk about it non-stop. Uh, what else do I use from By Terry? My Amber Light Blush, the most flattering blush colour in the whole world. Also the blusher that never seems to run out. I think I've had this one for definitely over a year and it's not hit pan. And I'm pretty sure I use it every day, if not at least four times a week. Uh, I actually used Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. This is a really nice one when perhaps my actual skin is not as bronzed and I want that really natural colour. So I tend to use that all over. And then I went back to buy Terry, the Beach Bomb palette, and I used the bronzy Sunny Flash shade from here on like the high points. And I actually think that by mixing the two, it gives a really natural finish. Pretty much just two brands for my face today by Terry and Charlotte Tilbury. I used the Desert Haze eyeshadow palette, um, literally just a really neutral shade. Because of the brows, I don't want to attract too much attention to my eye area, so I just used a nice natural colour. Oh, I lied, three brands. Um, I also used my new obsession, the Swede Mascara, I also have their Lash Serum, which I'm using every single day just before bed, and it is making such a huge difference to my lash growth, and I feel like they are the dream team together. And I have a discount code for these, Josie20. Hopefully still valid. I'm pretty sure it will be by the time this video goes up. And then I used Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheap Pillow Talk to outline my lips, and then number one, Sexy Nude, by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Balm. I think I will use these forever and ever for the rest of my life. They are the best <laughs> lip balms ever. So hydrating. I'm sure I read somewhere that they also have UV filters in them as well, which is amazing. And I would usually finish with a mist of Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. Um, but I can't get it in my brows until, so it's 10 days you have to be careful. So I had them done last Friday. Um, so yeah, on Monday next week, I'll be able to start being normal again. As you may have spotted, I've had a very nutritious breakfast. I'm gonna pop on a nice little dress. I think, um, I think we're gonna have a little bit of light, proper breakfast here and then maybe head to Dalesford. Not too sure what's on the agenda today, but I feel like a dress is always a good dress code. <laughs> this dress in at least a year but it is one of my favorite dresses in my whole wardrobe it is from Kate Spade and it also has some very nice memories attached because I actually worked with Kate Spade a couple of years ago 
on an activation that they were doing at like a competition in their Regent Street store and I got this dress as part of that collaboration and it was a dream. I then ended up going to New York with Kate Spade which was such a magical experience but this dress I feel is just so me. <laughs> the colours are absolutely gorgeous, it's got this floral detail, it's just the most elegant shape, little crop sleeves, um, really lovely lightweight material, daisies around the waist, it is a zip up and then a few little kind of pearly buttons and then just the most gorgeous length and it's still very feminine colour wise but it's not like completely pink. I've decided I'm just going to keep my hair scraped back today in a little low bun I might pop on just some little flat shoes. You can actually hear, I didn't realise, but from this room you can actually hear the peloton. <laughs> Charlie's on it now. Um, it's surprisingly loud. I don't think this house has much sound protection. <laughs> Never mind. So yes, this is today's outfit of the day. So it turns out we're having a pretty casual morning here at the house, so I thought I would make the most of this little bit of brightness and blue skies and film Sunday's video because I think tomorrow we are going to be out of the house most of the day and I think I'm going to do a fashion video on my all-time some all-time favourite summer wardrobe investments. So this is a real sneak peek, I'm sure you can tell a few bits that I'm going to be featuring in the video. And I wanted to show you, I have just received a lovely delivery from Amelia and her jewellery, beautiful jewellery line, Raimi. I have to admit, her campaign imagery for this particular collection, I think it's called the Luck Is Yours collection, was just so stunning. And she has so kindly sent over a few pieces from the collection. Look how beautiful this is. So we've got this beautiful kind of four-leaf clover I believe this is a bracelet. It might look really nice with this one here as well. I did have a few questions I noticed in my last video about this set. This jewellery collection is actually Omega. It does look quite Van Cleef-esque, um, but no, it's actually Omega, same as the watch brand. And I love it. I don't wear it often enough, but I was inspired by my friend Robin, who always wears her beautiful Van Cleef pieces, um, to wear it a little bit more regularly. But yeah, this collection almost gives me those kinds of vibes. You've got a few little green gemstones, don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, inside the hearts. Um, and the necklace is so gorgeous. I'm going to pop these on now. Amelia, if you're watching, thank you so much for sending these pieces over. I hope to be able to style them even a fraction of how beautifully you did in the campaign imagery. I've just finished filming and the sun is shining. So we are going to have some brunch out here. Charlie's just doing some bacon butties. It is smelling good in the kitchen. rained off at Broadway Tower so we've come to Broadway Town which is absolutely beautiful. We were going to try and have drinks at the Ligon Arms but I have a feeling there is a wedding there today so we'll try somewhere else. down to the kitchen garden to get some produce for dinner. The wind has actually blown over some of my sweet pea, um, some of my broad bean supports, but I'm going to come and grab as many broad beans as I can find. Some of them, my goodness, are absolutely massive. These are definitely ready. So I'm going to fill up my truck so we can put some broad beans with ricotta and lemon zest on some of the pizzas tonight. Gosh, there are so many broad beans. Oh my goodness. It is time to harvest. Honestly, it just amazes me when I come down here. It's only been about 48 hours since I last came down to get produce and we have so many broad beans. It is absolutely incredible. And we also, I didn't spot this before, but we have got a proper courgette in there and a courgette flower. I know that courgette flowers with ricotta in are just delicious. So maybe I'll 
do that during the week next week. Some of my broad beans have fallen due to the wind, unfortunately. My sweet peas are back in bloom, even though I picked every single flower from this the other day. And I'm just wondering, hello Mr. Bumblebee, if there's anything I can make with some edible flowers. It is the football semi-final tonight and we are doing our pizza night. So along with toppings from the kitchen garden, we've got a Greek salad, we have got loads of dough balls defrosting. We've got, uh, oh yes, some basil, lots of salami, some passata. Charlie's turning the pizza oven on. Everyone's enjoying an Aperol spritz in the sunshine. Here comes the wood for the pizza oven. Dicky looking at you. to have our flatbreads. The bell ringers are practicing it's coming home on the church bells. That wouldn't be that hard to ring, would it, surely? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. It does look so photogenic with the sun just like a star coming through. Gorgeous. This is my starter pizza that I'm making for everyone to share. We have gone with, sorry my hands are disgusting, burrata and olive oil as the base and then we've got broad beans and peas and pea shoots from the garden with a little bit of lemon zest and pepper to finish. All right, chef, we're ready to go in. Okay. Oh, I reckon, uh, have you got salt on that? Oh no, I didn't. A little bit of salt. Wow. really good. I need to get a bit better at spreading the dough out because I can't make them much bigger than this. Mm. Like, I don't know if that's the size of the dough, you know. Maybe. Pretty sure this is Charlie's dream outdoor kitchen setup. What would you add if you could add anything? Oh, a sink and a uh, gas burner. Really? <laughs> now I hope you're not going to try and claim credit for that pizza. 